If you want to sell bizarre items, you either turn to the internet or a pawn shop. Luckily for you, the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop might just be the place to sell them. They've had their share of many outrageous items, from prehistoric finds to weird ancient medical instruments. We've compiled a list of the mind-boggling things featured on Pawn Stars. Ready to cringe and be amazed at the same time? Let's go! First up, dinosaur eggs. The first item on this list will take you straight to Jurassic Park, because we've got real dinosaur eggs. A lady brought them in, unsure if they were real, but she had a price in mind, $20,000. Big Hoss greeted her, becoming just as skeptical as her, because they looked like peanut rocks. Regardless, Corey wasn't ready to pass on it, if they were indeed real. So he brought in a guy, Tom. Tom delivered some good news and bad news. First, the good. The eggs were real and belonged to a duck-billed dinosaur dating back to 70 or 80 million years old. Prehistoric treasure? Hold up. The paleontologist told us that one, the two eggs were artificially held together, reducing their price significantly. Two, they're far more common in the market, ranging from just $300 to $600. Ultimately, it was sold to the pawn shop for $500, with a consolation that at least they're real. Next, one man submarine. This unique vehicle was brought in with an asking price of a whopping $10,000. The owner got it off someone's lawn who didn't want it any longer. Fishy. The sci-fi looking transport is called a midget and dates back to the 80s. While Rick had some doubts about restoring it, he was undoubtedly intrigued. A water car in the desert? Sounds pretty bizarre, but the big guy ultimately decides to buy it, asking $3,000. Surprisingly, the owner immediately agreed, and the deal was done. But there was a catch. When the episode was aired, a man came forward and confirmed the suspicion that it was stolen. Upon police investigation, we found out the seller had no idea. But Ricky Boy had to let it go. Not all that glitters is gold, man. Up next, Ivory Tusk. Moving on to a controversial item, an elephant tusk landed in the Las Vegas pawn shop. The seller got it from a trip to Taiwan, now looking for some big bucks here. Keep in mind that the ivory trade is a serious political discussion. The shop owners didn't want any part of it, but Rick's keen eye immediately saw a red flag. It wasn't even real ivory. It was a mere bone etched with some intricate markings. The seller was shocked, but she still pushed the pawn shop to buy it. If not for the ivory, then for an aesthetic decor piece. Finally, Rick and co. weren't interested and showed her the door. And now, zoo poo. We aren't done with elephants yet. Next up, we have a stinking piece of the giant mammal. His poop. Yes, you heard it right. Chum and the old man were curious when the seller brought in a sophisticated chest. We were highly amused by the disgusted look on the shop owner's faces. As soon as he opened, the chest housed a can of elephant dew. After being disgusted, your next question would be, why on earth is it packed so nicely in a can? We aren't kidding. It had a pretty green label and all. Well, the reason was lovely. Washington Park Zoo came up with the initiative to auction poo to raise awareness for endangered species. That would surely get people talking. The seller had an even more outrageous asking price of $10,000, but that was just leg pulling. He said a walk with $5. Luckily for him, Chum actually bought it for $2, much to the old man's disapproval. Next on the list is a potato. If you were disgusted with poo, we have a much better organic item. A potato. Yep, just a plain old potato. It was one of the most hilarious and unusual items for sale. The owner, Sean Price, apparently had a whole outlandish history behind it. He claimed it was thrown at the iconic Martin Luther King Jr. at a 1960s riot. His uncle picked it up and passed it down to him. Price thought it was such a treasure that he asked for a startling $100,000. What? Sean said it has sentimental value. Even more surprisingly, Chum again came to the rescue. He actually bought it. Before you give an outcry, he paid just two bucks for it. A small price for a great purchase story. And now a blood transfusion kit. Let's head into the medicinal field with spooky instruments for sale. The first one, an antique blood transfusion instrument, was brought by a shady lady. Such kits were used all the way back in the 1600s to draw and transfer blood. While the seller had extensive knowledge of its working, its pristine condition didn't make it seem like it came from the 15th century. Fortunately for her, just the right person was behind the desk. Chumley's eye is always wondering for such spooky and strange things. He was interested, for sure, but didn't know how much he should ask for it. We call the lady shady because she had a specific $211 asking price. Chum offered $100 for it, but a scary stare from the lady said $125. Chum agreed. A bloody device, antique, strange knowledge, and a hypnotic stare. Did the shop encounter a vampire? Up next, an electrotherapy kit. The following kit is a sadistic one. 
used extensively in the mid-1900s, the shock therapy device was marketed as a master violet rays. The purpose was to treat acne, cataracts, hair loss, and constipation. By inflicting pain? No thank you. The scam of the alleged treatment soon ran out, and they were discontinued. But for eager collectors, they can be valuable. Rick and Chum were amazed to see that the kit genuinely worked. They tried it on themselves, and Chum gave us a funny quip that he'll use it to treat Rick's baldness. Oh, what would the show be without this hilarious guy? Ultimately, the shop bought it for $75, and Rick came right back to Chum saying if he didn't find a seller, he could always use it on Chum. Kidding, boss. And then, tonsils removing kit. Last, but the craziest kit, a tonsillotomy, was brought in for sale. This 19th century instrument was used to remove a person's tonsils. However, the demonstration of this scissor-looking tool to pinch off a person's tonsils must be horrifying. That's not all. You can even keep the flesh piece clamped in there to show it off. Aren't you glad you weren't born in that era? The seller got $800 for this dreadful tool, leaving the shop and us in nightmares. Promise, now we're done with vintage medical instruments. Up next, Robosaurus. After all these horrifying kits, we've got a fun addition next. A Robosaurus that'll immediately remind you of Optimus Prime if he was a fire-breathing dino. This 40-foot T-Rex robot was made by Doug Malawicki in 1989. It's had its fair share of fame by being featured on many other TV shows. What's more, it even had its own NBC show. However, its asking price makes it the most expensive thing on our list. Nothing short of $5 million. Sadly, the ask was too much for the Pawn Stars. They didn't even make a counteroffer so that they wouldn't offend the owner. You have to admit, the car-crushing robot is a marvel, just a pricey one. So Rick and Fam walked away. And now, a duck juicer. Yes, we said no more blood-curdling instruments, but our list wouldn't be complete without this one. Not a medical one, it's a food instrument. Even more outrageous than those kits we talked about. Officially, it's called a duck press. Like Chum, you must be confused too. Allow us to freak you out more. Just a warning, it'll ruin your appetite. So this duck presser is precisely what the name suggests. A duck is put into it and pressed to squeeze it out. That's not all. This French vintage instrument was meant to be used right at the serving table. Before you vomit, thankfully, the duck was roasted beforehand and the juice acted as a sauce for the meat. Still, we'll pass on this extreme garnishing. The seller, Keith, asked $9,000 for it, but Chum responded with $1,500. However, according to Keith's research, one such creepy squisher went for $11,000. Ultimately, no price was decided and the item went unsold. Next, a shrunken human head. At last, the most bizarre item on our list is an actual human head. Man, these pawn shops really be attracting some crazy sellers. The shrunken head was brought in a glass jar, looking downright creepy. No serial killer was at play here. Time for a history lesson. Shrinking heads to preserve them is an ancient practice of some Amazonian tribes. Rick knew all about it, which is why he caught a con. His expertise told him to preserve heads like this. An incision is made at the back of the head to remove the brains. A cotton thread stitched this head, and those wouldn't be available in the rainforest. Despite the old man's vehement disagreement, the main guy was quite excited to buy it. Rick would have immediately gotten his hands on it if it weren't a fake. Or so it seemed. And that's a wrap. Which item gave you the most heebie-jeebies? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.